In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here the first circle comes with the business title. And when I click next, it will show you the option one uh, with a different outline color here. Then comes the option two, option three, and then the right side option four, option five, and option six. And I've created one more slide where I have put the options, the five options at the bottom. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this link. I have used Office 2019 version to do this. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the slide background to any light gray background. Then go to view, enable the guides, go to insert shapes. I'm going to select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle. Shape outline, make it no outline shape, fill I'm going to make it white. Then align center, align middle. Then go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes I'm going to choose this circle hollow draw this circle hollow like this you can see here and then you can see the small orange point drag this outside all right shape outline you can make it no outline and make it less you can see here maybe this much width also only i'm giving and shape fill you can give any gray color and if you want further you can just let me just zoom in and then we can see how much width we need maybe this much all right so then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to reduce the size here a little bit and then i'm going to cut this part to cut this part what i'm going to do is let me just select the oval shape press ctrl d to duplicate just to make you understand i'm just going to change this color okay and then align center align middle and i'm going to cut this into half go to insert shapes select the rectangle you can see here i'm going to cut this hold the shift key and select this one merge shape and subtract so you can see here i got this shape so now i'm going to select this shape the oval and then this semicircle hold the shift key and select this one merge shape you can see here i can make it subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this all right so once this is done i'm going to add two more uh, oval shapes so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape again by holding the shift key and then align center align middle shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to choose gradient fill here uh, before i have used this two that's the reason it's coming so you can use only two stops and can give any color of your choice so once this is done go to insert shapes i'm going to choose one more oval shape this time a little bit smaller hold the shift key again shape outline i'm going to make it white shape fill i'm going to make it white again and increase the transparency level and then align center align middle so we end up getting a shape something like this so once this is done i'm going to add six options three to the right and three to the left so go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape again by holding the shift key shape outline i'm going to make any color of your choice maybe this uh, the plum color shape fill i'm going to make it white and then the shape outline i'm going to increase the width maybe this one and then hold the shift key and reduce the size to the smallest one possible you can see here like this then i'm going to put this one here one press ctrl d or i can select this one hold the ctrl shift key together and then just drag it this side all right so you can see here i'm going to put exactly maybe here and then select this one press ctrl d sorry bring this here in the center all right and then again hold the ctrl shift key together and put it this side and then again press ctrl d i'm going to put it here and again hold the ctrl shift key and then align it properly so once this is done you can choose any color of your choice maybe i can use green i'm going to use purple i'm going to use maybe red 
let me just use some orange and here i can use maybe a blue color combination so like this sorry so i have to just choose the outline blue color so now once this is done i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and increase the size hold the shift key and increase the size maybe this much and i'm going to put it here press ctrl d this one will come here bring it more closer actually press ctrl d again i'm going to put it here you can see here and then hold the ctrl shift key and i'm going to bring it here select this one hold the ctrl shift key bring it this side and then hold the ctrl shift key here so now i know the colors so i'm just going to choose whatever the color outline i have given i'm going to give the same color outline here you can see here i'm going to choose the red this is the orange one and this is the blue one all right so once this is done you can go to insert icons and choose the icons as per your requirement so randomly i'm going to choose uh, six different icons all right click insert and bring it here height i'm going to make it as 0.6 and then i'm going to select all shape outline i'm going to make it more gray color and graphic fill i'm going to make it no fill and if you want you can increase the weight okay and then i'm just going to put each icon in the respective oval shape you can see here something like this and this will come here so all the icons has been added and then if you want to give some shadow effect also that also can be done so i'm going to select this one press ctrl d to duplicate and shape format i'm going to make it black increase the transparency effect go to the effects go to the soft edges increase the size here you can see here this will give you some shadow effect hold the shift key increase the size and send this to back okay press ctrl d here reduce the size and we can add it for each option press ctrl d you can see here i'm going to add like this and later on i'm going to send this to back again ctrl d i'm going to put it here one by one you can see here and once this is done i'm going to select all by holding the shift key this options and send this to back so you can see here i've added the shadow effect also so once this is done if you want you can just group it or you can just add some text example here i'm going to say option 0 1 i'm going to choose the font open sans make it bold if you want reduce the size center align and put it here go to insert text box i'm going to say add your detail text here again center line reduce the size i'm going to make it somewhat gray color put it here select both of these press ctrl g to group it and put it this one press ctrl d again this is for this side ctrl d all right so likewise you can just add one by one for these options and again if the space is not there we can adjust it later on all right so now i'm going to make this as option number two this is option number three four five and option number six so you can see here our design is done and then if you want you can add the main title here i'll just say business headline i'm going to choose the font white make it bold i'm going to choose again the open sans increase the size increase the width center align and put it here in the center so you can see here with this we have completed the design and if you want you can add some basic animation effect to it.